Hi there, this is Marshall from Modern Grammar. In this video, I would like to teach you stative versus progressive verb. First of all, what is a verb? Verb is a word which refers to action or state. Okay, what is an action verb? You all know that action verb always refers to physical activities like reading, writing, dancing and playing. So here are some examples. My mother is preparing food. I am watching TV. So here verb like prepare and watch refers to physical activities. So we call it as a action verb. Okay. What is a state verb? It is a word which often relates to feelings, emotions, sense, perception, thought, opinion and possession. So here are some examples. I have a car. So here I have a car is a possessive case. You can't use ing form. Similarly, she likes ice cream. He looks smart. These all refers to statement or condition that simply exists. We can't use ing form or continuous form here. Okay, now we are moving to a very important one. This is a very common question you all have in your mind. Can we use stative verbs in a progressive or continuous form? So I just going to teach you two rules. I want you to focus your mind carefully here, right? Remember that Stative verbs can be used in continuous form only in certain situation. So here are two rules. Rule number one, when the subject has the control over the action, we can use continuous form. For example, see the first one, I am tasting a soup. So here the verb taste is actually a stative verb. But I have used ing form here. The subject I has the control over the verb state. Even though taste is a stative verb, it is used in a continuous form because here it refers to the action. But you see in the example 2, the soup tastes great. Does the subject soup has any control over the verb taste? No, because it is simply as the statement. It's simply a condition of the soup. We can't use ing form here. Similarly, when you apply the second rule for the first example, I am tasting a soup. Does the action is extending over the period? Yes, it is. First, I have to decide in my mind whether to taste the soup or not. Then I have to take the spoon near my mouth. Then I will drink it. So here the action is extending. But in the example 2, the soup tastes great. Is the action is extending? No, actually here taste is a statement. I can't apply rule number two here. So, okay. So, let me give one more example. She looks beautiful. Does the subject she has any control over the verb look? No, she looks beautiful is simply a statement. So I can't apply one and two rules here. But in the next example, he is looking at her. Does the subject he has the control over the verb look? Yes, because here look is acting as an action verb. Similarly, does the action is extending over the period? Yes, it is. So remember that whenever you see a sentence question yourself does the action is extending over the period or does the subject has the control over the verb or it's simply a statement or condition that exists so okay this is all about stative versus progressive verb so i will see you in the next video with a new lesson if you like this video please hit the like button if you want to see more video like this, please click the subscribe button. Thank you.